Well, first, the Columbia now sea lions are feasting on endangered salmon along the Willamette, too. It is getting so bad, sport fishermen say they're hurting not just fish, but business. K2's Anita Kase is live in Oregon City. Anita, they've been hazing the sea lions there. Is it working at all? Well, they've actually been hazing them up by the Willamette Falls area. That's where the fish congregate and then, of course, the sea lions. But the fishermen here say that's pushing the sea lions down here toward them. We've actually been watching one that's swimming around here tonight. They often like to lay on these docks where we are. And the trouble is when both the sea lions and the salmon have different protection levels, finding a solution to this is proving to be tricky. This should be the prime spot for salmon fishing along the Willamette River, but there's hardly a boat at the base of the falls. You can't fish up there anymore. The sea lions are in every place you could ever catch one. Guide Wayne Pretty says with a dozen sea lions prowling these waters and daily encounters like this, that was a seal. Fishermen have stopped booking trips. That seal's got your fish. They're just a eating machine and they found a new place to eat is what it is. This is growing to be another Bonneville. They're out of control. This town hall meeting in Oregon City, hosted by House Speaker Dave Hunt, billed as a way to come up with solutions. But clearly, many don't think the recent hazing is enough. The only thing that works is killing them. Scapegoating sea lions is wasting hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars on solutions that don't work. Animal protection groups argue the nine killed at Bonneville so far this year have just been replaced. And the real problem... I feel like I'm surrounded by a room full of predators here. Overfishing. So not only are sea lions eating uh, these non-native fish, which also are the biggest predator of salmon smolts, they're actually doing a favor. They're eating uh, way more fish than we could ever catch. Oregon Fish and Wildlife says about 10 years ago, the sea lions in this area ate around 400 salmon. That's about 1% of the run, a little bit more in the steelhead, but they say it was not a significant amount. But now they are seeing more of the sea lions, a lot more, and they are seeing them here almost twice as often. In Oregon City, Anita Kase, K2 News.